Hello friends, again welcome to our channel Defense Series. The first defense update is coming from the statement of Subramanian Swami. Swami said that India should be careful of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Warning about UPA's chairperson Sonia Gandhi. Alleged affiliations to Russia's former intelligence agency KGB. Senior BJP leader Subramanian Swami on Thursday said that India should be careful of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Swami's statement comes after United States President Donald Trump on Wednesday set a suspense ball rolling over his take on India-Russia recent S-400 air defense missile deal. He said that India will soon find out whether the countering America's adversaries through sanctions at Katsa will be relied on country for the purchase of high-caliber missile systems from Russia. Talking about the same, Swami told media, it is not possible in this world to be friend with everybody. We have to choose friends and then stay with them. In my opinion, Israel, China and United States of America are more important friends for us, for our present situation than Russia. Russia is a bankrupt country. It just lives on oil revenues. Inside Russia, there are a lot of other problems. Putin should prove that he wants to be our friend by declassifying files of Netai Subhash Chandra Bose and Lal Badu Shastri. They are not state secrets because that was all in Soviet Union. He should tell us why Sonia Gandhi went to Russia twice recently to meet him in the last six months. He must give such record of Sonia and her father's KGB affiliations. But he is playing both sides. So we have to be careful. India and Russia signed the much awaited agreement for the purchase of five S-400 air defense missile system earlier this month. The deal was signed on the sidelines of 19th India-Russia annual bilateral summit led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Russian President Putin. The second update is coming from Saudi Arabia, where, where the Mohammed bin Salman, the ruler of Saudi Arabia, officially say is considering giving India a membership of OIC, that is Organization of Islamic Cooperation. Saudi Arabia, which had in recent past emerged as one of the Pakistan's strongest allies, is slowly but surely trying to move away from the perception under the leadership of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The most recent example of this which also has an Indian connection, was seen last month when Saudi Arabian Ministry of Foreign Affairs refused to give permission to the Pakistani embassy in Riyadh and its consulate in Jeddah to celebrate Kashmir Black Day on 27th October, which Pakistan observed to mark the anniversary of the day when the Indian army arrived in JNK to fight off the 1947 Pakistani invasion. On 15th October, officials said the Pakistan embassy has sent a letter to Saudi Arabian department concerned seeking cooperation and necessary security arrangement to celebrate Kashmir Black Day on 27th October. However, the Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs refused and stated that carrying out any such activity would violate the rules that regulate the ties between the two countries, which, among others, calls for not carrying out any activity that will harm Saudi Arabia's interest with any other country. It is pertinent to mention that Pakistan has observed this event in a big way in 2018, which was also attended by senior members of Saudi administration. The Saudi government has allowed Pakistan to hold an extensive photo exhibition and a full-day seminar on the atrocities taking place in Kashmir. Even as ties between Mohammed bin Salman and Prime Minister Narendra Modi at a personal level and that between the government of India and that of Saudi Arabia at a diplomatic level have strongly evolved in the past few years, the relationship between Pakistan and Saudi Arabia has plummeted. According to the Indian officials, they say that Mohammed bin Salman is taking steps to move away from Pakistan, which are in keeping this long-term plan to reforming Saudi Arabia and changing global perception about it. Mohammed bin Salman wants to build Saudi Arabia into a modern world-class society that could emerge as a global hub for the service sector. He is working hard to break the image of it being a hub of supporters of radicalism. He knows the future and therefore is working on roadmap that shuns Wahhabism. As per the officials, Mohammed bin Salman is also seriously considering giving India membership of OIC, something which has not done so far under pressure from Pakistan. The third defense update is coming from the Pakistani lawmaker's recent statement. The Pakistani lawmaker Ayaz Sadiq stands by Indian Wing Commander Abhinandan Vardaman's release statement. Pakistani lawmaker who faced criticism from the Pakistani government and army for revealing that Imran Khan-led government has released Wing Commander Abhinandan Vardhaman fearing an imminent attack from India, said he stands by his statement, adding that he knows many secrets but never made irresponsible statement. Speaking in the Pakistan National Assembly, the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz leader Sadiq has recounted the events of February 2019, meeting during a speech in the country's National Assembly. He had revealed why Imran Khan's government decided to release Abhinandan, saying Pakistan Army Chief Kamar Bajwa legs were shaking while Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi 
told the meeting of parliamentary leaders that India was about to attack their country. His statement was heavily criticized by ruling party ministers and also prompted the Inter Services Public Relations (ISPR) chief. Major General Babar Iftikhar to hold a press conference in which he sought to correct the records regarding the events but there are political differences their attempt to associate any statement with the armed forces of Pakistan was not a service to the country the last defense update is coming from India US military ties with the signing of basic exchange and cooperation agreement beka for the geospatial intelligence between the India and the United States last week India US military to military relationship which is often described as a trusted partner to evaluate the diplomatic closeness between the two countries that was revived during the tenure of Atal Bihari Vajpayee has now reached its zenith under the prime minister Narendra Modi serving and retired officials who have been tracking the Indo US development feel that the security benefits that India now stands to receive from the United States are going to be comprehensive and the signing of the last four agreements is going to increase india's military prowess significantly in the coming 2 to 3 years it was on 17th january 2002 when former defense minister george fernandes who was the defense minister in the bjp led nda government signed the general security on military information agreement gsomia the first of the four defense foundations agreement on facilitating agreement with the united states the agreement guaranteed that the two sides would protect classified technology that is shared between the two and laid them the groundwork for further sale of us weapons to india the agreement stated that information can only be shared between the us government and american companies with the government of india and defense public sector undertakings dpsu but with not with indian private companies however for the next 14 years the rest of the three foundation agreements the logistic exchange memorandum of agreement lemoa the communications capability and security agreement comcasa and the basic exchange and cooperation agreement beka for geospatial intelligence continue to win discussion board as mandarins at the south block discussed and dissected how signing these foundation agreements would damage india's foreign policy of strategic autonomy as signing these agreements would lead to united states assets stationing in india and making india a us base and this despite being fully aware of the massive tactical and strategic advantage india would gain if agreement were signed that's all for today from the defense update if you have any questions please do comment please like subscribe and share jai hind jai bharat